Text-to-speech is fab. It enables any text on a device to be read aloud to students for free. But what should a student do when they're given a hard copy or a textbook in class that they would like some help reading? To have a hard copy read aloud, first it needs to be scanned to be converted into a readable format. A few years ago, doing this would require a costly bit of kit and software. Now you can do so using a free app on your phone. There are a number of apps that do this, the one I'm going to show you now is free and is extremely impressive. Given that there are so many options available, if you know of a better method or a better app, please write it in the comments below so we can all learn. But for now, I'll show you the best free option I've found. First, I'll show you how to use it. And then if you're interested, I'll show you how to download it for free. It's shockingly quick and simple. But I must warn you, even though it's quick, free and simple, do keep watching till the very end because unless you have everything downloaded on your device, you can run into trouble. I have an app on my phone from Microsoft called Office Lens and I have a hard copy worksheet that a teacher has handed out. I open the app and take a photograph of the handout by pressing here. If I'm happy with my photograph, I press done. I then have a lot of options to choose from. In the first instance, I'm going to assume we just want to have the hard copy read aloud, so I've select Immersive Reader. End of lesson quiz. Cell structure. And my phone reads out what Name. is in the handout. The I'm going to lower it down so I can show you some more features. If I go into okay. settings, I can change both the speed the and the voice. I can change it from male to female or back. C controlling cell activities. D protein synthesis. E chemical reactions. Mitochondria is responsible for A photosynthesis. B aerobic respiration. I click here to stop it reading aloud. Now with this particular handout, I didn't just want to have it read aloud. I need to be able to amend it. And I have lots of different options here. I could create something in OneNote, a PowerPoint, an Outlook, email, but I'm going to convert this photo into a Word document. And here I select Word and it is transferring this scan into a Word document. If I only wanted the hard copy read aloud, I wouldn't have to do this step. And here it is. And I can now amend that. I can do that on my phone, which I'm not very good at. Or as it's on OneDrive, it will automatically be on my laptop and I, I could update it there. I would rather do this on an iPad as it's easier. Amending a Word document with only a phone keypad is very limiting. I'd rather use a device with an external keyboard. But let's have a look, see if I can do it. The question is ribosomes are responsible for, and I have to select A, B, C, or D, and I am going to guess D, and I have updated the document. I could use highlighters, but as I said, I'm not very good at using my phone. I'd much rather use my iPad. But you can see that all the functionality to amend the document is available to me. You can even press this button here to dictate into the Word document, which is amazing. While dictation is really powerful and students should absolutely use it, it's not so good in a noisy classroom and it isn't great in exams. So I do really recommend students learn to type. So far, I've shown you a lot of functionality on a very small screen. So before I show you how to download this software onto your phone, I'm going to summarize what we've done. We mimicked being a student that was given a handout we scanned this worksheet into our phone by taking a photograph and we then used immersive reader to have that read aloud. We then converted that text into a Word document and that Word document could be accessed on our phone or using OneDrive on any other device. If we knew we needed to amend the worksheet, we could have gone straight from the photograph to converting it to a Word document without using Immersive Reader. Because you can have the document read aloud in Word. Once it was in a Word document, we were able to amend it and add answers. And these answers could then be saved and either printed out or emailed to a teacher. 
And we did all of this using a completely free app called Office Lens. While editing this video, Microsoft have changed the name of Office Lens to now be Microsoft Lens, and they've changed the icon ever so slightly. Whatever the name and whatever the logo, I think this functionality could be transformational for an awful lot of students. So if you agree, I now want to show you how to download it. It only takes a few seconds, but you have to have different apps installed on your phone to get full functionality. On a phone or tablet, I go into the App Store. There I search for Microsoft Lens. Then I hit the install button and I wait for that to, to download. Once it's downloaded, I press open and it takes me through a few screens to explain how to use it. I then need to allow access and allow access to use my camera. That has installed Microsoft Lens, but to use it successfully, you need to log into your Microsoft account and create one if you don't already have one, and also install Word on the device so you can amend documents and hand them in completed to the teacher. So in the same way that I went into the App Store to find Microsoft Lens, I search for Microsoft Word and download it. And while these are extra admin steps that need to be completed, and it's frustrating if you haven't done it because then Office Lens won't work the way you want to, the great news is all of this functionality is completely free. Word on your device is free, Microsoft account is free, and OneDrive that enables you to share whatever you scan between devices simultaneously is all free. So all the functionality I've shown can be used at no cost at all. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. This channel is all about helping students achieve their full potential. If that interests you, please do subscribe and hit the bell button and you'll be informed when I create new videos. Thanks for watching.